Oh, good morning, Bella Llama. Good morning to you too. What um do you know what today is? Ash Wednesday. Well, it's actually the first Sunday in Lent. Oh. <laughs> do you know what Lent means or what we do in Lent? How long you, Lent lasts? 40 days and you get something up or take something on. Yes, okay. So today we're going to learn a little bit about the first Sunday in Lent. You ready? Okay. Okay, let's listen. Hello. Hey, we're so glad to be here. So today we're going to read something a little different because we're going back to the Old Testament. Do you know about the Old Testament? It's old stories. It is old stories. And guess who's not in those stories, really? Jesus. That's right. That's right. So what the Old Testament is all about is it's a lot of different stories where God is saving his people. Okay? And this one is called The First Sin. What's the first sin? I don't know. What do you, what do you, do you know what sin is? No? Well, does it look like something happy? Something good, probably? No? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do you think it's something probably God doesn't want us to do, maybe? Uh-uh. Yeah. All right, the first sin. So we've got a woman and we've got a snake. And I'm going to let Mary Manning act out the story as I read it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, it's not their turn yet. Oh. All right. One of the animals that God created was very tricky. What tricky guy was that? The serpent. The serpent. The serpent was clever and sly and up to no good. Did God really say you can't eat fruit from the trees in the garden? The serpent hissed softly to Eve. Where's Eve? Which one's Eve? That's when it's Eve. No, said Eve. God said we can eat fruit from any any of the trees trees in the garden. garden. Wait, listen. (laughs) Except for the tree in the middle of the garden. Do you want this to be the tree? Okay, there's a tree. God said not to eat from that one. Not even to touch it. So don't touch it, Eve. Don't touch it. Okay. The serpent smiled a sneaky little smile. Ha! God doesn't want you to eat fruit from that tree because if you do, you'll know everything. You'll be just like God. The serpent hissed in a sly way. Do you think you'll really be just like God? Do you think that would really... Mm-hmm. Eve looked at the tree in the middle. Hmm. Hmm. The fruit sure did look good. So, what'd she do? She ate some. And then she gave some to who? To Adam. She gave some to Adam, too. As soon as they ate the fruit, everything changed. Adam and Eve became very embarrassed and shy. And they sewed some leaves together, making some pretend clothes to try and cover up their bodies. And they stood nervously behind the bushes. Then they heard God walking around the garden. And God called out to them, Yoo-hoo, where are you? And Adam and Eve hid. Hey, where did you go, called God. Adam peeked out from behind some vines and he said, I heard you, but... I was afraid. Why were you afraid, asked God. Well, I'm naked for one thing, said Adam, who was quite embarrassed, so I hid. I see, God replied. Who told you that you were naked? And Adam said nothing. Did you eat fruit from the tree I told you not to eat from, asked God. Eve gave it to me, Adam blurted out. The serpent made me, claimed Eve. He tricked me. God sighed, I told you not to eat from that tree. Because you, what you have done, what I told you not to do, life will be difficult for you now. You have to leave this beautiful garden and work very hard to get the things that you need. 
Now you will know what is it is to be unhappy, and someday you will die. I made you from dust. When you die, you will become dust again. God made some real clothes for Adam and Eve and sent them out into the big world. And God was with them everywhere they went. Here's the picture. So here's the beautiful garden. And then they're having to leave the beautiful garden. Into the dark world. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But actually, the world's not that dark, is it? No. Uh -huh. It's pretty great a lot of the time, I think. Does that make you think of like any time I've told you not to do something and I've, I've said, well, it's for your own good. Like maybe don't eat 12 pieces of chocolate. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't say that to be mean, right? I said that for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So I was trying to save you from a bellyache, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the same thing God was trying to do. All right, well, we're going to do an activity that has to do with the serpent. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, you just need markers and paper. Yes. Okay, so we're going to make something that turns out to be a, when we cut it, a snake. All right. Now, today, in real life, what did we do today at school? Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. And what is Ash Wednesday all about? You, so, we can't But what, did, what happened to us? We got... Um, we got some like dust on our forehead. That's right. We got ashes on our forehead. And it's the beginning of the season of? Lent. Lent. And so during Lent, you can either take something on into your life that'll be really good or take something away from your life that may or may not be one of your best habits. And what you're supposed to do is when you're thinking about that habit or what you're doing that you've taken on that's good or taken away that's not so good is to contemplate and to think about Jesus during those times, right? Okay, so what did mommy take away? Candy. Sweets, that's right. So our story was all about temptation and Adam and Eve were tempted by that fruit, right? And do you know what I get tempted by? What? Candy? I get tempted by sweets. <laughs> so I'm gonna try really hard. I ate two pieces of king cake last night <laughs> to not eat sweets. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do for Lent. Now, I think for you, it might be better to take something on. Take on a good habit. What do you think would be a good habit you could take on? But I'm giving up. Okay, what do you want to give up? It's a show I like called Living Maddie. Okay, but would that help anything to give up Living Maddie? Um, huh? But I like it a lot. I know, but don't I don't just I like do don't give up something you. I know, I know, but but it will that make, you know, you better. Like I think giving up sweets will make me feel better. How about taking something on like making your bed or, or taking on cleaning up the playroom every day or coming home straight away and doing your homework or something like that that will make life a little easier for you. Okay. What about something like that? Or you want to give up living <laughs> Is that what you really want to do? You can. If, that makes, if that's what you want to do for Lent, it is your decision. That's the thing. I shouldn't be pushing this on you. That is, I am being tempted to do the wrong thing, which is tell you what to do. Don't you hit me. So what do you want to do? You want to give up living Maddie? That's fine. All right, so, so start coloring. I have been coloring pictures of what I'm giving up. So all these sweets. I drew an ice cream cone. I drew cake. This is making me sad already. I drew a sucker, candy, donuts, cookies. Hmm, what's another thing that's good? I'm trying to think here. Cupcakes. So what are you drawing to represent Liv and Maddie? Well, um, Liv, she plays basketball. Oh, okay. So this will cut down on your TV watching. Is that what is that what it is? Yeah. No. Well, you know what, Mary Manny, you're right. That is a good thing to take on. So every time I see a sweet, I'm gonna reflect about Jesus. Cause you know what Jesus did for forty days and forty nights? He um he didn't eat anything. He was in the wilderness. He was roughing it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna do some designs now. Now what's gonna happen? It's really cool is it's a spiral. So I'm going to cut on my spiral. Oh, but I'm not really going to be finished. That's
that's okay. You can go after me. And who who were Adam and Eve tempted by? The what? Um, this, the, the um, apple tree. Well, yeah, but they, the they didn't care about the tree until what? Who came they along did. and said something? Yes. The sneaky serpent. He's the one who tempted them. And you know what tempts mama? All these sweets. So... Lift I've got them what up. I've got a snake. Wait, Maddie just. Maddie uh, falls in love with me. Maddie's a basketball and she falls in love. Okay. All right. So look at me. So this is gonna remind me. My serpent is gonna remind me to stay away from those sweets. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. You want to talk to Andy a little bit about this? Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. What's your name again? Bella. Yes, Bella. Okay. We're ready. Bella Llama, what are you going to give up for Lent? I'm not giving up. I'm taking on. Oh, what are you going to take on for Lent? I'm going to take on making my bed. Making your bed. Well, during Lent, we give something up or we take something on to draw us closer to God. Because sometimes um, we... The thing that you do gets you distracted. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, sin is being separated from God. It's getting distracted from God. And so... When we give something up or we take something on, it brings us closer to God, right? Uh-huh, it sure yeah. does. So maybe you can think about with your family what you may want to give up for Lent or what you may want to take on to draw you closer to God. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>